Quiz 1, numbers 5 and 8. The first one, number 5, is going from English to algebra. So let's take a look at how we would turn this into an expression. The product of 9 and 7 less than a number. Well, product is going to mean multiply. So the product of 9 and some other stuff. All right, whenever you have a product of a number and some other stuff, put the other stuff in parentheses. That way the 9 is multiplying all of it and not just one term of it. So then we got to figure out, well, what's this other stuff? It's 7 less than a number. And here the order is really important because the question is, well, first of all, a number will be x. All right, so we want 7 less than x. So the question is, do we put in x minus 7 or 7 minus x? And the order is very important for subtraction. It isn't important for addition, but for subtraction, we do have to worry about it. So instead of just looking at a number, x, think about what if you had the number 10. If I said 7 less than 10, well, that would be equal to 3. And the way you get that is by taking the 10, the number, 7 less than, subtract the 7 from the right side of, on the right side. 10 minus 7 equals 3. That tells us that we want this one right here. So 7 less than a number is x take away 7. And that would be our final answer. And then number 8. 8 is a question about identifying types of numbers. And we have a big list of numbers and we want to pick out the rational numbers from it. So we have minus 12, 0, 10, 6.75, root 12, root 16, 3 and 1 sixth, minus 7 over 39, and 1.8, 1, 8, 1, 1, 8, 1, 1, 1, and it keeps going. So to find the rational numbers, Keep in mind the word ratio. A rational number is a number that can be expressed as a fraction of two integers. So first we look at minus 12. And minus 12 could be expressed as minus 12 over 1. So yes, it's a rational number. So let's list all the ones that are rational numbers here to the right. 0. 0 could be written as 0 over 1. So it's rational. 10. 10 over 1. Yep. 6.75, any ending decimal could be written as a um, ratio of two integers. 6.75 would be 675 hundredths. So that's a rational number. Root 12 is not a perfect root. Uh, let's see, 3 squared is 9, so root 9 is perfect. 4 squared is 16, so root 16 is perfect. But root 12 is going to be somewhere in between, and it'll have a um, a decimal pattern that never repeats, so that is not a rational number. But root 16 is, because that just equals 4. 3 and a sixth, any mixed number is a rational number because you could write it as an improper fraction. 19 over 6. So 3 and 1 sixth. Minus 7 over 39, that's already a ratio of integers, so that's a rational number. And then 1.8181, 8111, that has a pattern in the decimals, but it's not an exactly repeating pattern. It would have to be 1.818181, and because it doesn't exactly repeat, it is not rational. So these guys here would be all of our rational numbers.